Look at that piece of meat. That's just a piece of art right there. Beautiful. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tai Fong. Today I'm at Fitzroy at a nice little cool restaurant called Mukha, Indian restaurant. And they're actually known for their goat curry here. So I wanted to give that a shot. Oh. Yep. Oh my god, it's so big. So our classic dosa just came. Look how big this is. This is huge. It doesn't even fit on the plate. And I actually have to push my plate over because it's so big. There's um, these sauces. That's the coconut chutney. And this is the tomato chutney. And also you've got uh, curried potatoes in here. So I'm gonna dig into this dosa. It looks like it's, it's gonna attack me. A dosa is pretty much just a, like an Indian pancake. You know, it's like a, kind of like a crepe. You just kind of break it off and dip it in. I'm gonna try the coconut chutney first. It's just a, a, a coconut sauce. Yeah, look at that. Oh. That coconut chutney is just so kind of sweet and a little bit sour. I don't know if that's coming from the dosa itself. No. Dosa just kind of tastes like a bread. Just a crispy bread. I'm gonna try the um, tomato chutney. Oh! Look at that. Oh, there's potatoes in there. It's um, curried potatoes. I'll just get, to get a fork. I'll put some on, on the dosa. Mm. The potato itself is really moist and, and juicy. And actually, just it's really soft, nice and soft. It kind of just melts in your mouth. Really rich curry flavor. Goes really well with the dosa bread. Oh, here. Garlic on and goat curry. Oh, cool. Here is the goat curry. This is what I came here for. I'm gonna have to come back to this goat curry because I'm gonna have to try the rest of this chutney out. It just looks too delicious. And then we're gonna go with this um, tomato chutney right over here. Look at that. Oh, that rich tomato color. Kind of just a bland flavor. I don't know, is it tomato? It doesn't even taste like tomato. I prefer the coconut one. <laughs> this is definitely very light. Also, I've got these other herbs inside. It gives it a little bit of a, a spicy taste. Very interesting. So I'm gonna try the the lentil and um, and potato. That looks like a soup, doesn't it? So I'm dipping this into a soup. Look at that. Look at all the the lentils and the coriander. All these spices in there. It's like a, a, a curry potato and lentil dip. Very interesting. It's, it's full of flavor, full of spices and, and different herbs inside. So, you get a, a big chunk of that. Mm. My favorite, definitely the coconut. That's a nice fresh taste and you can taste the, the coconut flavor and the oils. And also that, I think it's the puppy seed that gives it a nice kind of aftertaste. So now I'm gonna dig in to this goat that I came here for. Get some on this, this Captain America shield. Oh, look at that, you can just smell that goat flavor. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's just topped with coriander. Look at the juices on that. Oh, yeah, just gonna put this all over my plate. And this is the garlic naan. Yeah. So, just gonna take some of that, put it on here. And um, I believe you can just peel some naan and dip it in the goat curry. And look at look at the juices on that and just steaming with goat flavor. And you can see all the, the herbs and spices in there. Oh yeah. Mm. The meat literally just 
falls off the bone and disintegrates in your mouth because I just had some and it pretty much just disintegrated. Here's a piece of meat and I'm gonna try this. Seriously. I don't even need to chew it. It pretty much just melts. Which is beautiful, the goat flavour. It kind of tastes like beef for those of you who don't know what goat tastes like. You can taste all the herbs and spices that has been cooked in. Look at that. Oh. This goat has been slow cooked for like four hours before they served it to us. That explains why it just melts. Oh. Definitely the highlight. Get one. You don't have to chew, it just melts. I don't want to chew. <laughs> you want to drink it, I'm gonna have this naan bread on its own. It's a, it's a garlic naan bread. It's just sprinkled with yeah. coriander. Mm. No. Kind of like a garlic bread. A little bit oily like a garlic bread, but tastes like a garlic bread. Not as crispy as a garlic bread, but that's the base of it. It's kind of like a pizza crust. It's really good. Really um, savoury. But I think it's better with the curry. So good. Oh yeah. When I looked at this, I thought this was too much food. But I can seriously finish this goat curry, no problem. Oh, I can't even describe the flavour. It's just a light curry flavour. But that goat, the meat, is just incredibly fragrant. With all the herbs and the spices mixed in. Oh. This is definitely one of the best curries I've ever had in my life. I'm not even exaggerating. Alright, had an incredible dinner. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're in Fitzroy, be sure to visit this restaurant, a Mukha Indian restaurant. And if you do come here, I highly recommend the goat curry. That was the best curry I've ever had. Thank you so much guys for watching and remember, You've only got one life, live it.